This is Movie Tone, Jeffrey Sumner reporting. It's Oaks Day at Epsom, Ladies' Day they call it too, and the Queen with members of her family was there of course. Her Majesty had a word with the jockeys, Lester Piggott and Harry Carr down in the paddock. The Queen, who had two runners, certainly stood a good chance of victory with either Carrozza, ridden by Derby winning Piggott, or the well-fancied Mulberry Harbour, Carr up. Thrilling moments for the royal family just before the race. Anxious moments too, perhaps. Then the field of 11 fillies were off on their one and a half mile journey with neither of the Queen's runners showing prominently in the early stages. It was in the run home that the big thrill came. Carrozza was in the lead and apparently on the way to victory. Then coming up on the outside with a late sprint, Silken Glider made a tremendous bid. Could Carrozza hold on? It was neck and neck in a terrific duel, right to the post and a photo finish. Yes, a photo finish. Who's won? The answer was Carrozza, and Her Majesty was down there to lead in the winner of her first classic victory. Carrozza was a bit put off by all the cameras and excitement, or was it just a touch of stage fright? Anyway, she needed some coaxing before she agreed to go along. But what a triumph for the Queen, this win. Everyone was absolutely delighted. Salem Castle in West in West.